Hello everyone, today I'm going to give you a quick run through of the new and shiny Exo Wings Lite. Exo Wings Lite is available for free in the add-in store and you can use it for both personal and business purposes without any limitations. The easiest way to install Exo Wings Lite is by going to add-ins and then search for Exo Wings. Now simply click on add and give it a moment to load. Once loaded, the Exowings light button appears here on the home tab and opens up the editor right here in the task pane. When you first open it up, there are a few examples listed here. So let's have a quick look at Hello World. But first, let's make the editor a little bit bigger and also drag it to the left. A script is very similar to an office script or a VBA sub. You simply have to use the script decorator here together with the book argument. This, by the way, is almost identical to an Office script, except that this one uses Python, whereas Office scripts are written in JavaScript. So let's click the Hello World button to verify that it does what we would expect it to do from the code over here. Now, when we change this to Excel Wings, you can see over here that the check mark quickly disappears and then reappears. When it reappears, it means that the changes have been persisted, stored in the workbook, and we are ready to go and hit the Hello World button again. By the way, like with VBA, the code is stored inside the workbook. The difference is that this works with XLSX files, so you don't need to store them as macro-enabled workbooks. There's also code completion. So when I do this, uh, I can just say dot and then, for example, say address here from the drop down. Now I can just wrap this in a print function. And next time that we run the function, we will get the address here printed in the output pane. We could also like rename the hello world function and instantly it will get updated over here. To select a different script, click on the drop down. Now, let's run the Seaborn example. As you can see, it first downloads data from GitHub into a pandas data frame. Then it prints the info here in the output pane. You can make that a little bigger so it's easy for you to cross-reference this information with the table that we have here in the Excel sheet. Then it adds a new sheet and basically writes out uh, the data frame to a table and then adds a plot on top of it uh, via the Seaborn package. And finally, it activates the sheet. So that's all that we have here in the script to make this sheet appear the way we had it. Now, let's see how custom functions work. Again, a little further down, we have the hello world example. So we wouldn't even need that help URL here. A funk decorator is all we need. And instantly, we can run this script and say, hello, Excel wings and we get back what we would expect here. Again, we can change that. We wait for the check mark here to appear and when we recalculate that function then instantly we get those question marks updated. A slightly more exciting function is here, the standard normal function, which returns a data frame with random numbers. So I could do standard normal, give it a few rows and columns, and then it'll give me some random numbers and a date time index. 
And it all returns this into a dynamic array here in, in Excel. If you need to install an additional package, you can change over to the requirements txt file. And let's just say we want to use Pydantic, right? So we just add this and automatically it will trigger the installation of that package. Now I could go ahead here and use Pydantic in my code. All right, now it's your turn. Delete the sample code and build something awesome.